In his catching attack on the National Dachau Council, NTC, and its vice president, Lennox Schumann, the Indigenous People's Affairs Ministry on Wednesday accused the council of being confrontational, demanding, and disrespectful in their writings to President David Granger. The ministry said it has observed a trend of public posturing by NTC executives and Schumann in particular, stating that the council has so far not distanced itself from what they described as rather divisive, disingenuous and sometimes incoherent statements being made by these officials. Open court. Simultaneous with calls for meetings with His Excellency President David Granger, Lennox Schumann and Vice Chairman of the NTC issued a call for mass public protest against government by our indigenous citizenry. The ministry will allow the Guyanese people to judge Schumann's intention. End quote. A statement from the ministry added. Further to that, the ministry said it is aware of countless complaints of alleged disrespectful and inhumane treatment of the residents of St. Cuthbert's mission by Schumann. Open court. The horrifying stories told by residents of this 129-year-old village of proud, mostly Lokonos, range from threats of dispossessing them of lands for disobeying Schumann to referring to residents as refugees as well as forcibly expelling church leaders from the village. End quote. The statement also added. According to the statement, residents paint a picture of Schumann being a very incompetent to show. This, the ministry said, is inconsistent with known and revered traditional leadership, love and respect for others. The ministry described the NTC vice chairman as a failed leader who is now being rejected by his village. Now that the current NTC executive is near the end of its three-year term in office, the ministry reminded that the council is yet to explain to its membership and to the ministry why it continues to resist the legislative obligation of accounting for the finances placed at its disposal. Meanwhile, the ministry also accused the chairman and vice chairman for not addressing opposition political interference into what they say are the affairs of the NTC. While claiming that it was not unexpected, the ministry said it remains clear that the ill effects of political domination will take some more time to undo. When contacted for a comment on Wednesday, Schumann said he was in his village and could not comment on the matter unless he reads the statement in its entirety. The NTC vice chairman said he would also like to be given some time to digest what was written about him. He said he may respond by Friday. Samuel Signandon, The Evening News.